Okay, so now we're on how to prepare for a party. So whoever your host is, whether it's you or whether it's someone else, has got the people that are coming. What you need to do now is to make sure that you're ready for the party. So here are the things that I think you need to make sure that you've got. First of all, you need to have opened up your kit. Get all of the products out, set them up, put them on a table, and make them look beautiful. Light them, enjoy them at the house, see what it looks and smells like. And if you need to buy a few things in order to accentuate those products, feel free to. I suggest not over-accessorizing your products. In other words, a few placemats might make the products look fantastic, but you don't need to have a whole bunch of other knickknacks that they can purchase from a $2 shop themselves. Because you can bet your bottom dollar that the clients are going to ask you where you got the $2 shop item instead of where can they buy that beautiful tea light holder. The candle products should definitely be the center of attention on your table. However, some of the products that we have do need to be zhuzhed up. Something like our Clearly Creative Hurricane, which comes in the starter kit now, is something that you really want to make sure looks fantastic. My recommendation is that you keep it simple, though, and you make sure that it's something that anybody could use. For example, all the shells that my husband and I have collected over the years go into a little Tupperware container, and I bring that with me, and I use that in my Clearly Creative. And that way I'm not talking about a $2 shop item that I can purchase, but instead I'm talking about beautiful shells that mean a lot sentimentally to me and that look fantastic in this hurricane glass. All right, so you set up your display and you've got it looking the way you want to. How are you going to get it from your living room to their living room? And the answer is, of course, some sort of a bag and some sort of packaging inside of that bag. My recommendation is that you invest about twenty to thirty dollars in one of those trolleys, the shopping trolley, that uh, you can find at a two dollar shop for twenty dollars. I've never figured that out. Or that you can purchase from some sort of a bag shop um, in an outlet mall or something. Make sure it's um, it's going to stand up straight. Don't don't buy one that's so inexpensive that it doesn't actually sit up. But those are the perfect thing to wheel into a client's place because they're nice and small and compact and they're easy to carry if you need to carry them upstairs. The other investment you should make, in my opinion, is in bubble wrap. Although you can pack all of your products back into the boxes that they came in, having all of the products in boxes makes it more difficult to fit everything into a bag like the rolling shopping trolley that I just talked about. But if you wrap everything carefully into bubble wrap, then you can stack everything within that holder and it actually works very well. When I moved from boxes to bubble wrap, in my brain I thought to myself, I might break things every now and then because of the way I'm doing this. But this is going to save me so much time that it's actually worth a breakage every now and then. And you know what? I haven't really broken anything much. One time when I actually dropped the entire trolley, I broke a few pieces, but that would have happened no matter what. I find that having the bubble wrap and all of my products into that works perfectly. You also need to prepare what I call your party light office. So in my shopping trolley, I keep all of my kit. In my office, I keep all of the paperwork and things that I need. So the paperwork that I'm going to need at every party is going to be order forms, door prize slips, new consultant agreements, 10 reasons to discover party light brochures, the Children's Hospital Foundation tent card, the specials for that month, and the catalogs. All of these items need to be stamped as well, especially at the catalogs, because the catalogs can be left lots of places and you always want people to come back to you. There's also a card called a Live By Candlelight card in your kit, and this is the most inexpensive piece of literature that we have, and it's something that every single one of your clients should actually leave a party with. You're welcome to give them all a catalog too, but if you're worried about making sure that you keep your costs down, the Live By Candlelight card is the perfect business card. In fact, you probably don't need to purchase business cards if you keep Live By Candlelight cards in your purse ready to go. In my office, I also have a clipboard. Now, my clipboard's a little bit special because I bought it at, I don't know, Big W is where I bought it from. And it actually is a clipboard that has an inside part to it where I can keep all of my other paperwork except for my catalogs. And that's really convenient because then I can keep paperwork inside of it and use the clipboard when I'm taking orders. I find that that works really, really well for me. 
You also are going to need pens. I have a little pencil case that I put all my pens in. I also have included a handful of change, um, coins, $2 coins, $1 coins, 50 cent coins, 20 cent coins, just a handful. And I have a little calculator I put in my pen case as well. And all the pens I pass out to each person when they're putting their door prize slip together. And I make sure that they have a pen so that they can do that. Um, I've got a variety of pens. They just need to be ballpoint pens so that when people press down, they can actually see all of it through. So that works out really well. Um, let's see, what else do I have in my kit? Oh, fragrance stackers. There's only one time that this will ever happen to you because once you do it once, you'll never do it again, and that is to forget to bring your fragrances to a party. If you're lucky, you'll call me and I'll find a consultant really close by who'll be able to bring you some, but chances are that you'll have to go without. So please don't forget, always bring your fragrance stackers. I have a theory that with my office and my fragrance stackers, I could actually do a party without my kit. And that is that people can look at the catalogs, fill in the door prize slips, smell all the fragrances, and I can take all of their orders with all of the specials, and they didn't need to see a kit at all. So if you forget anything, just forget your kit, bring everything else, and have a really nice chat with everybody about how beautiful the candles are. The catalog can do a lot of selling with you. All right, so that's how to get ready for a party. You also want to make sure that you dress appropriately. I prefer for my team not to wear any jeans and not to wear thongs. You don't need to dress to the nines. You don't need to be made up to the, to the end. But you should always make sure that you look a professional and, and semi-casual uh, apparel is perfectly fine. You want to represent the company well. And you want to represent your business well. You also want to make sure you know where you're going. Make sure that you actually have the address of your, of your um, host and that you've got it all figured out where you're going to be. And make sure that you leave with enough time to get there before all of the guests do. My personal target is a half an hour prior to the guests. I will arrive at the house, set up everything that I need to, and then be able to help the host get ready for those last minute things. So those are all the things that I do to start getting ready. I hope it helps. I'll be back with more in just a minute.